What is going on guys? John from John's Game Room here with a another video. Um, today I wanted to talk about Call of Duty's games being remastered. Um, the reason I brought this up is because I was going through Twitter and um, I saw Charlie Intel and this whole entire video is, you know, I, I is any of this type of stuff, their link to the website will be in the description below, so go check them out because this is straight from their website. Um, they, they, they were talking about Call of Duty Remastered, and they had a, they posted up a quote from a, uh, interview with Game Informer, um, who was, it was somebody from Game Informer who was interviewing the Activision CEO, and, um, they said that, um, you know, they were, everybody really thinks about playing these old Call of Duty games on these new, new gen consoles, um, in terms of a remaster, and it's really interesting because, um, you know, I think that would be great. I think that if they remastered, like, COD 4, um, or, you know, MW2, you know, the whole entire Modern Warfare series alone would be an amazing remaster. Same with the Black Ops series. Um, I think that would be awesome. And, um, I've got a quote here from the Activision CEO, he says, if done well, I think remasters can be great. You talk about nostalgia, and people have such connection to the games they love from the last cycle. They want to see what it would look like if someone did did it right for this cycle. It's always the opportunity cost, meaning we need every body we can get to make the content we're already committed to uh, for our new games. It's always a matter of finding great people to do that work. I would love to play Modern Warfare 1 or the original Black Ops. There's certainly a deep well there. No announcements, but it's something we talk about and think about a lot. Now that's that's just awesome because that leads to a ton, a ton of things that could sprawl out and come to, you know, the the new consoles. You know, it, it, it just leads to so much opportunity, and I'm about to dive right into it. So here we go. So what does that quote mean exactly? Well, to begin, that quote means that there are a ton of people over there in Activision and in these development studios like Treyarch, Infinity Ward, and Sledgehammer that always feel um, that it would be awesome to go back and remake a game. Except, you know, they're, they've got this kind of commitment in this set contract that they have to make a new game every single year which means that they can't have these big companies like Treyarch, Infinity Ward, and Sledgehammer wasting their three-year dev cycle on a remastered collection they need to be spending every second that they have on a new game on a new game to come out the next year so that means that they would need to similarly to how they're handling the last gen ports of the new games um, they would need to dish this job off to a couple of smaller developers to take the game, upgrade its graphics, and, you know, adjust its gameplay a little bit, and just pretty much get it a little bit of a facelift. Um, now, that could be a good thing, and that also could be a bad thing, you know, you're putting a lot of hope and a lot of faith into these community, into these, not communities, I'm sorry, but into these development companies, that probably won't have too much of an experience. If you look at the ones that are doing um, Black Ops 3, you have Beanox. Beanox has never made a Call of Duty game. I don't think they've ever made a shooter. You know, they're known for the old Spider-Man games. Um, and say what you will about those games. Um, but w what they're talking about is they would need to find a, a company, a development team, that would be interested in doing something like this. But at the same time, they can't really be wasting too much money. You know, even though Activision is, you know, they are, they've got tons and tons of money. You know, it, it, a lot of issues come out of this because, you know, they need to make sure that they can trust and put full effort and full, um, you know, they're giving this, these, they're giving these two or however many developers that they would do. They're going to give them this project, this entire piece of that franchise. And if they mess that up, then that franchise is going to be crippled. Um, so it's a very important thing that they get this done right, and they get it done on the first try. Um, you look at what the, um, Master Chief Collection did, it was a cool idea, but dang, man, there were a bunch of bugs off the bat, and, you know, it was just, if you look at it now, it's, it's better now, I think that they patched a lot of the stuff with it, but, man, it had a very rocky launch, and it was, um, it made a lot of the fans mad, so they don't want something like that to happen to Call of Duty, um, so that's why I don't think we've seen it yet. He says it's definitely an idea. They're not making any announcements now. 
or anything like that. But um, man, that is just having that thought be there. That makes me excited. That makes me think that man, we could be playing like the Modern Warfare series on PS4 and Xbox One again. Um, you know, I the thing that makes me most excited is if they're gonna remaster something like that. Is it really too far fetched to say that it's possible? That they could do a Zombies Collection? I don't know. I feel like that would be one of the biggest, biggest games that they could ever do. Um, you know, it, when you look at Call of Duty, it's multiplayer and zombies that bring people into the game. And if they could hammer down a perfect zombie game using all the maps, um, heck, you know, they could make it even cool. And they could make it, um, you know, they could... I don't know if you guys would be cool with this. I think it would be interesting. I don't know how much of these stuff I would be playing. But if they went and took all three of these games, kind of, all, all three of these developers' little third game mode, you know, how Ghost had, um, what did they have? Infection? No, that's not what it is. It's, um, the alien thing. I don't remember what it was. It wasn't very good. You know, if they brought, like, they had all the COD zombies, the Treyarch zombies, they had, um, Instinction. Is that what it was? I think it, it, I think it was it was extinction. I think extinction. I'm sorry. Um, and right there, I just dodged a bullet, uh, rocket, so that was pretty cool. Um, but I feel like if they could do something like that, and they have like Treyarch zombies, um, Infinity Ward's extinction, as well as Sledgehammer zombies, I think that'd be an awesome game. Um, that I wouldn't have a problem paying 65 bucks for, you know, with tax. I think that would be fine as long as you kept getting map. Um, like, when you, if you buy a season pass for, like, let's say, Black Ops 3, you know, if you got those maps for that game as well, without having to spend any more money, I think that would be one of the best things they could do. Because those are some of the best stuff about the games, you know, yes, multiplayer's fun and all, but, you know, later on, it gets to the point where people just start hacking it, or certain things aren't working very well, or you have it, the multiplayer experience, like Ghost, which just really overpowered weapons and way too low of health that just really makes things unbalanced and makes it hard to play uh, but you always have that enjoyable experience especially if you look at like zombies my favorite zombie map out of all of them was Kino the Keaton Kino Kino Dan Torton I believe is the way it is I don't really know it's been a long time since I've touched Black Ops 1 um, you know I have those games I have Black Ops 1 and I have Black Ops 2 so I can go back onto my PS3 and play it but here's the thing, I don't want to have to keep switching out my HDMI's and use that crappy PS3 controller now that I'm well adjusted to a PS4 controller. It sucks and I don't like to do that. Not to mention, um, two of my friends, Brendan and Chris, they sold their PS3's already, so all they have is their PS4. They can't join me and Cameron when we go back and do that type of stuff. So I feel like it would be the best thing for studios to bring a Zombies game, like a, a Zombies collection, out and release that because I think that would be some of the funnest stuff they wouldn't really have to do much but pull files from the PS3 um, and Xbox 360 game and just kind of update the f update the graphics a little bit make things a little bit more nice to look at more appealing to the eyes um, you know they don't even have to do that technically I'd be fine if they didn't you know I the games themselves are what makes that fun you don't need the fancy graphics to do it but you know but it, it goes a little bit further than just zombies, you know, think about playing the, one of the best uh, Call of Duty franchises, which is Modern Warfare, dude. COD 4 was revolutionary in terms of a first person shooter, that determined what all these other shooters look like, you know. Um, and, you know, even today, yeah, there's a lot of hack lobbies on PS3, there really are, and same with Xbox 360, I think there's more on PS3 than the 360, but, you know, it's still, it is so fun to play, it is just so much fun to play, and I can't, you know, I can't be mad about that, you know, that's, that's, that's a good sign, and I think that that is one of the best games in terms of balancing and in terms of gameplay, it works out so, so well, and, um, you know, it, it's just one of my favorite Call of Duties ever. And then you have Modern Warfare 2, which is, you know, that one's a little bit more broken, seeing as though you have the noob tubes, but if you look past the noob tubes and One Man Army, um, that game itself is one of the funnest Call of Duties because of the fact that it's just, you know, it's so fast-paced. It's so, you know, I don't know what it is, but it's just always enjoyable to go play that, you know. And Modern Warfare 3, you know, granted... 
that one's probably my least favorite out of the series. You know, that was when I think Infinity Ward started going downhill. And that kind of sucks because I really like that franchise. Or that, I guess, is, would that be considered a franchise? I don't know. Maybe Call of Duty is a franchise and then that's like a sub-franchise. Modern Warfare is. I, I don't know. But here's the question I have for you guys. Would you rather have a Ghost 2... A Ghost 2, I'm sorry, I, I didn't pronounce the plural there. A Call of Duty Ghost 2, or a Call of Duty Modern Warfare 1 through 3 collection remaster type of deal. What would you guys want? I would personally, personally, I would want the the remaster, man. I, I would rather have that than a new Infinity Ward game. They'd, they've kind of rubbed me wrong the last two, ma the last two releases, and it's just kind of lost hope for them i'm gonna be sketchy about getting ghosts too if that's what it's gonna be called i don't know um but yeah here we are we're coming up on the end of the video here we did super duper well on a hard point um again huge shout out to charlieintel.com again the link is in the description below to go to their website and you can read that entire article and um yeah thanks for watching hit that like button that subscribe button and um also click on the screen here in a second to subscribe as well as to go to my channel Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you later.